Hello, welcome to your weekly insights through the cards. My name is Mika Leon Pettit. This is for the week of September 23rd through September 29th. Moon mansions are in Gemini, Cancer, Leo, and Virgo. The week starts with the Mercury ruling sign and ends with the Mercury ruling sign. So communication during these times will be more important to be aware of while balancing your feelings and energy during the week. With Pluto in the mix, the mental realm can get heavy and go to work for constructive pursuits or to your detriment. Remember, your thoughts are powerful. Stay conscious and aware of yourself and your surroundings. Figure out what you truly need in the moment. And breaks from the world and the day-to-day -day mundane may be necessary. Moon mansion energies are like internal drives and conscious awareness should be brought to them to utilize these energies effectively. The Oracle, Centering. Tara is back this week. She was here last week and got us going with centering our energies. And now she's back to say we are not done grounding and working with the energies that has been presented to us in the last week's clips. We can't just rush the parts of our life that we do not want to address. It is best to focus on what you can control and how you can align to prepare yourself for the best case scenarios to enter your space. Look for signs that support and affirm the choices you are making now. If you didn't take time last week or enough time to feel into the shifts and the dance that is playing out for you now, it will be wise to give yourself some time each day to feel into the new person you are becoming and work with it, ready or not. Astro Jam number one. Claudio Draconis in the ninth house. There may be an external pull on you right now to learn and experience the new. This can show up in several ways, travel, a new subject or course, new hobby, or finally doing something you always wanted to do. Before you dive in, old habits need to be released or you could be feeling confused and unaware about what your next steps are. Smoky Quartz is a grounding stone that can help keep you protected and in a good position to receive positive vibrations. It is said to help you transfer lower energies into vibrational energies, which can lead to a higher state of consciousness. Astro gem number two, Amicio, in the fourth house. Don't be hard on yourself if not much is getting done around the home this week. Even things that were planned with family members may need to be rescheduled for a better time. Emotional security may be at a low now, and especially with those of us with major planets and aspects and water signs. You can get through it, but it may not feel so good. Malachite, a stone of transformation, can help people change situations and grow spiritually. Malachite is associated with the heart chakra and can be help with emotional healing, self-reflection, and releasing past traumas. The crystal card, Moonstone. It is an important time to ebb and flow with the current of the moon. Moonstone is said to help access intuition and gain insight into feelings and emotions. It also promotes spiritual growth and a sense of oneness with the universe. Moonstone is said to work best when it's close to the skin. This is what flowed through. I hope it helps you plan your week for the best possible outcomes.